Mississippi like this, but never like People in American Fork and Highland reported some strange happenings in last night's sky. They did, and they want to know what was hovering over that area between 7.15 and 7.30 last night. ABC4's Barb Smith is taking action to find out what it was, Barb. Robert and Karen, they tell us that they saw lights, but those lights were not from an airplane or a helicopter, and these lights dropped something as they hung low over the sky. I don't believe in extraterrestrials. Lynette Chittister doesn't believe in close encounters, neither does Mike Galbraith. I mean, when people tell me this, I, I think, oh, you know, it's you're just seeing things or people are making things up. But last night, both saw something in the sky that they can't explain. Mike was in the Air Force and says the lights hovering in the sky were unlike any he had seen. He was outside a shopping center in American Fork, grabbed his cell phone and took this video. But I looked up and there was three red lights and then they started dropping um, it looked like flares or something bright was, was dropping straight down. And Lynette saw it too at her home in Highland. And I noticed over the roof of the garage a red light 
and a white light. And the red light isn't flashing that, like an airplane light does. That's what drew my attention to it. She says soon there were three. And out of the red light comes like a firework, the phosphorescent silver. It's coming down out of it. And I thought, okay, I've never seen that before. Both say the objects were flying slowly, almost hovering, and were in formation. And they looked like they were flying in formation perfectly together. And then the, whatever was dropping looked like it was burning um, real bright. But Galbraith says the lights were without sound and did not belong to any plane or helicopter he was familiar with from his military experience. And he says what was being dropped were not flares. They usually shoot out of the sides or they shoot down and, and there's a lot of them and you could definitely hear them. Lynette's husband once manufactured military flares. He agreed what was being seen was not a military exercise. But what was it? The control tower at Provo's airport had nothing to report out of the unusual last night, nor did the county sheriff's department. Salt Lake International's control tower had no incidents, and officials at Camp Williams had nothing to report. So we are reaching out to you.